back to contemporary black voices, and we're into a heavy, heavy discussion here about, um, uh, well, first of all, we're discussing America is a breeding ground for, is America a breeding ground for these white punk racists that think they can go around killing black people? And I think when we stop, uh, Caleb was getting ready to make a point. So we'll go back to you, brother. All right. <laughs> so I think when we stopped, we were talking about a, we're having a debate about America and and and, and just the 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 idea of uh, of uh, of what constitutes an American. I know you were saying that you're fully American and 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 that you don't want to be associated with uh, with the uh, the idea that America is uh, uh, or, or to blame the, the situation on America. So I but mean, you, it's, you know why I said that? I, because uh, right. then you put me in with that sick bunch. Right. I understand. I, I want to be a separate. Right. You I live in the same right. country I, with that. No, 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 I live in the same it, country, not, but not, I, when, right. you, when you collectively say right. America, you're putting right. everybody in there. Right, and, and I think so you have to, we have have to understand, understand what constitutes America, though. And, and, and well, Okay, what constitutes America? Violence. Is a country that's born in exactly. violence, and it, 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 and countries that are born in violence often return to that state. This country's this this country is about it's about violence. What, it's about it's, it's so difficult for you to say a certain segment of this country is about because violence. It, it's not, not a, everybody it, is. because it's not a certain segment of this country. It's well, it's this country. This country was founded on the principles of inequality it was founded on the principle of, of of white supremacy of one people being above another people that's what that's that's the the reason for this country being the way it is today it was the foundation of this country's um, economic wealth uh and, and that's what it's about this country was it was never ever ever a democratic experiment it was an economic experiment that's what this country was about. It was about the wealth. It was well, about a lot of people would argue with you on that. I'm sure they would because they, they they fantasize about this. They have He's this the idea. Economic they have no, this I idea of what America is. This is but built a, on a democratic yeah, experience. It's not oh, okay. a democratic experience. It's an economic experience. Did, did they not necessarily have a democracy? No. But it was a republic. Uh, mm -hmm. And the people do have a say-so. No, as, it was. Wait, let me finish. As opposed to a dictatorship. No, they don't. They don't. It was built on a system of of of, of it was built on electro, uh, an electoral uh, college system where only the only people that had a say so were the white uh, business owners and the white landowners. And, and that's not, what Trump is fighting for today it, 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 because it's, it's he's saying he, he won the election. But we're talking it's about the, the foundation of this okay, country. Okay, I agree. The and foundation. So this is what, this is what this when country, they changed that. Right. I think about 1912, mm -hmm. they changed that right. but, so that the each state has to take into consideration who wins that state, and those are the people that will uh, right. cast the electoral votes for that state. And, and, and you know what? You can, you can, you can, I can put a, a, a I can put a Rolls Royce emblem on my Volkswagen. But it's still, <laughs> it's still a Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Okay. Still so a Volkswagen. you can change, you can paper mache over anything you want to paper mache over, but this country was founded on white supremacy. It was founded on the principles of, of, of exploitation of black And I black think Brad wants to segment, segment mm -hmm. that from saying, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. we've got Rappers feel that they have a a, 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 a code of honor, mm -hmm. you know, if they show violence, if they, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Or, mm -hmm. you know, the people are trying to say now, even the white folks are kind of trying to come back and say, <laughs> well, Trump's got a new badge of honor because he's got a mug shot. Give me a break. <laughs> this is America. <laughs> America really... You need to be careful, mm -hmm. I say, okay? Because as much as... of you supporters of Garvey's movement. Mm -hmm. uh, I am an American. Okay, that's all mm -hmm. I know. So what happens okay, when... That's all I know. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so when you say it's America, it's not all America. Right. I, I got some great mm -hmm. friends who right. would argue with you about right. that. Uh, we had that's one fine. on the show here, Lane Denton, Bring Dr. Em. Richard Gambetta. Bring these, are, these, are, <laughs> these are people... No. who are a part of that other America, mm -hmm. and they would not want to be associated. No, I, that, I understand that. that. Like these punks we're talking right. about, they wouldn't want to be associated with. And so, no, what I'm saying is we're talking about uh, 
the essence of this country and what this country was about, what this country was built upon, uh, that's what, what we, it's that's founded what upon. And so, yeah, uh, I, I no, no one, no one associates. I'm not, I'm not of course, that, no one associates you with the violence of this country. You know what I mean? Uh, well, absolutely not. No one would associate uh, Dr. Gambetta with the violence of this country. But the simple fact of the matter is, this country was built on that exploitation. Amen, brother. I, I, just, I didn't right. doubt that uh -huh. at all, mm -hmm. Caleb. No, I, I know it was built, no, you, I you, 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 you are wholly you say, American. That is your birthright. When you say American, then you're throwing in everybody. No, I mean, what I'm saying when you is go overseas, America is Yeah, when you go overseas, they call you an American, <laughs> and they lump you with all the right. white folks. I don't folks. care what they do. <laughs> okay. You know, you tell me I got to say what they do, I don't give a damn what they do. No, but they're going to say, hey, they're looking no, at that no, he's in America. What I'm saying is, we, 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 we I don't built, care what they do over we there. We built this country. No, not over there. America. When you go there, they're talking about you. I, I don't care what they say. <laughs> okay. So uh, well, then don't you, worry you about it. Don't, don't care you about got, what we you say. Got, you got white people don't here. Don't care about what we say. But I don't care what they say. No. They don't define me. A nigger or a nigger? I understand that. Okay. <laughs> no one is no white, one is white, 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 white folks use the ER. <laughs> 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 That's different. Right. right. Okay. Now that's good. <laughs> okay, so all right. Well we're not okay, that's probably what just uh mm -hmm. not an important distinction uh, what overall we're talking about. Right. And let's get we can get back, back to the subject. Uh, is this country breeding ground for these young white punk racists right. that think they can go into our communities and kill us? Absolutely. Yes. yes. Once you make people like Kyle Rittenhouse a hero, uh, you're going to have copycats. And you, uh, so yeah, it, it, it absolutely is a breeding ground. They have what they, they, they deter, they, what they now call sports clubs, where they're teaching each other not only uh, paramilitary training and firearms training, but they're teaching you know, the hand-to-hand -hand combat, Muay Thai, uh, all kinds of other uh, martial arts. And so, yeah, it's a breeding ground for uh, these type of racist, racist militias. And so they are on the rise. FBI statistics have shown that they they are they're on the rise. And uh, the the JDL and and um, just a, a lot of uh, other civil rights organizations have shown that these militia groups are on the rise and that they've risen dramatically uh since trump was elected. do you know what the fbi says is the number one threat to america white yeah yeah the white nationalists and nazis neo-nazis and that's the number one threat internal to internal yeah. terrorism yep and domestic I terrorism I think there was made a, a good point earlier mm -hmm. uh how this continues there are copycats and you mm -hmm. talked about what they try to do uh <coughs> in pennsylvania in pennsylvania mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, you were talking about a black woman got shot and killed, a pregnant black woman. In Ohio. In Ohio. Mm -hmm. So, you know, one of the things also that I'm noticing is that some of these, these shooters, these white shooters, are committing suicide. So now they're being turned into martyrs. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Martyrs are just cowards. Yeah. Well, well, cowards. Both. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, the uh, you mentioned his name. I think it's the one that did the slaughter in in charleston that dylan yeah he mm -hmm. got life sentence for each one of the murders and he had the nerve to talk about how sorry he was mm -hmm. how sorry he was he didn't know he was touching so many people's mm. lives it, it just tells me that he never looked at us that way no if he had he wouldn't have committed, committed to murder. but all his apologies doesn't help those families you know, bringing those people. The what? And all through YouTube, you see videos of non-blacks talking about how they were raised to hate black people. And you know, and they're talking about this. You know, my my parents told me this. My parents told me that. And the sad thing about it is, this hatred for blacks is global. Global. You know, I was sharing off off. You know, when we were taking a break, that the Samoans have been called on the carpet for a racial slur against Black Americans. And what's really sad about it is, is that Black Americans thought that the Samoans and us were, you know, we were together, but racism in that community. Now, the younger Samoans are coming out and saying 
That's not the young folks. We got it. Those are the older people. So it starts in the home. You know, everybody want to say, well, I didn't know he was like that. Well, it starts in a home. I have a girlfriend of mine who's an administrator here in Texas in a uh, in a small community, almost rural. And the kids feel they have the right to say, call her a nigga. What? And I said, you still at this school? She said, I said, she says, yes. But that's, I mean, these are, uh, it's an elementary campus. And these kids feel they have the God-given right to call her that. So where right. do they get this information from? From home. From yeah. home. home. It starts in the home. You know, one of the things that, that uh, I just hate is that as black people, we've tried everything. We've tried to have our own communities. We've tried to segregate. We've tried to integrate. No matter what it is that we do, we can't find where white folks are happy with us. Happy with us being by ourselves. They're not happy at that. They go burn down <laughs> Tulsa, okay? They're not happy with you bringing your money to their place, okay? They, I don't know what it's going to take. Yeah, and I think when you say that, there's an alternative that I don't think any of us want <laughs> to see happen. What's that? Every black person get locked and loaded. <laughs> locked and loaded. And mm -hmm. willing to go out and, and give your life to protect our race in this country. I think that's important, but I also think it's... Uh, I don't want to see that happen. I think it's nearsighted, you know, because there's no way from a money standpoint... You were calling me nearsighted. You were calling me I did. So. Yeah. Because you looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> but... but I, just don't believe that we can go toe to toe, even on a uh, artillery type of situation. So, so we've got to be very careful when we talk about that as well. I, I agree mm -hmm. with you. I'm not for that at all. But what what are you what are you looking at then? Um, do we continue to let the young punk white boys no no slaughter our families? No. Well, one of the things that we have to do. Now the problem we got a we got a we got a problem in that the black community is not what it looked like back in the day where if you went to Harlem it was black mm -hmm. if you went to Tulsa in a certain area Greenwood it was black so here in San Antonio you know where is this black community truly located is it off of FM seventy one or you know FM seven off a of Foster Road where is it located I don't, yeah and so. One of the things that we have to start telling our, our kids, our boys, that if someone comes into the community that you're not aware of, you need to send out the SOS signal. Take your hat off and throw it up. That's a part of this community that we don't recognize. Yeah. Because that's mm -hmm. what happened up in uh, New York, that uh, grocery store. Buffalo. Buffalo. You had this white man coming up into a black grocery store. Didn't nobody? Didn't anybody wonder why this white man was up in there? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're about to close out here. Anybody have a final comment within yeah. twenty five seconds? I can't do twenty five seconds, but I'll try. No, but so uh -huh. my my my. You know what? Um, our relationship to 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 this country is like that of uh, an abuse. Uh, uh, an abused spouse, and so uh, they they knocking us upside the head. But at the same time, they're asking us, uh, "What you gonna do about it? Where are you gonna go? Where else are you gonna go?" And so, as a Pan Africanist, I say vote. I say uh, uh, invest your resources in 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 developing uh, Kenya, uh, uh, Ghana, and a, a few other places. You, you have an alternative. They want to know. Okay. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with you with hot topics. <laughs>